In this video I want to share a useful little troubleshooting technique I discovered using a neon light to see if you have any high voltage coming out of your spark plug wires. For those that don't know anything about neon lights, it's a little gas filled light bulb and they're highly efficient. You could probably leave the thing on for a whole year and I doubt if you'd use a penny's worth of electricity. And uh, they were like the original LEDs long before LEDs came out. You'd see these things in all kinds of different electronic gadgets. Anyway, if you watch one of my previous videos, you probably remember me taking one of these neon lights and just holding it near the output wires on my inverter transformer, and I showed how it would glow orange. Well, the other day I had an issue with my car where it, every once in a while it would stall and it wouldn't start back up. And having a little bit of a background in mechanics, I started thinking about all the different possibilities. I began to wonder if I had a fuel-related problem or if I wasn't getting spark to my spark plug, or maybe the... Uh, you know, the injectors weren't opening, or fuel pump, or whatever. And uh, I was able to eliminate one possibility by taking a neon light, soldering two wires on it, wrapping one of the wires on the outside of the spark plug wire, and taking the other wire and just grounding it to the chassis. And I put this in my cab, and so the next time the car stalled, when I turned it over, I was able to see that I was indeed getting a, a, an orange flash here, indicating that at least I knew I was getting spark to my spark plug wires. So that, that was a big help for me uh, because it turned out all it was was a clogged fuel filter and uh, naturally I was happy to see that. Nothing worse than an intermittent problem which is what I had. So um, I was going to say I've seen these neon lights dirt cheap on eBay. You can get them for probably a couple bucks a piece and uh, I've got a handful of them still around here and I, I find them very useful. So. Anyway, I just wanted to share that little troubleshooting technique. Um, if you're ever in a predicament like that and uh, you need to see if you've got a, any uh, spark climbing out of your spark plug wires, that's one way to do it. Alright, hope you found the video helpful and if you like it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe.